Bread Boy is back and I am more scorched than sourdough in a Dutch oven. I was in the sun all day. And uh, today we're going to talk about sourdough starters, how to maintain them, what you need to do to go from the starter to the actual bread. And like any live culture, whether it's yogurt, kefir, water kefir, kombucha, it is a living thing that needs sustenance, just like your gut bacteria every day. That's why we eat three meals a day for the most part, and we need carbohydrates and sugar and certain things to feed the microbes. Same thing with the sourdough starter. Now to actually make this, you would take flour and water in equal parts, put it in a bowl, leave it uncovered, room temperature, and it usually takes two to three weeks for the natural wild yeast in the air to take hold and start fermenting it and breaking it down. This is what we have available on Frankie's Free Range Food, so you don't have to wait two or three weeks. If you wanna save 10 bucks and wait that long to make your bread, by all means you can do that, but this is packaged in glass. It's made with organic flour and glass bottled mineral water. We use Mountain Valley. No other starter online is using the high quality flour and water, so there's really only one to get. So you don't exactly just throw this in the loaf of bread and bake it because it has not been fed recently. And if I fed this starter right before I shipped it out to you guys, it would explode all over the package. It would be too active. The gases would build up. We've had that happen before. So it's kind of dormant right now. And what you would do is you would take this starter or after it takes hold, after those two or three weeks, your new starter, and you have to continuously feed it every day. So you get this in the mail, you open up the package, you pour this in a bowl, and you would add roughly two times the volume of this, of flour and water. So generally speaking, when you're feeding the starter, you want it to be 25% of the total volume of what you're feeding it because it will eat up the flour very, very quickly depending on the room temperature. So this is two ounces. You want to do maybe four ounces of flour and four ounces of water. Mix it up. Let that sit for a day. The yeast is going to eat, be fed. And then, you know, imagine like you were starving or dehydrated or really hungry. You know, you eat that first meal, you kind of catch up. You're almost back to normal, but you're not good yet. And then after like a day or two of eating consistent meals, you're kind of back to normal health. Same thing with this starter. After you feed it the first time, it's still not super robust and healthy yet. And if you try to make bread with this or one that's fed the first time, it's not going to be as airy and fluffy and you might not get um, the bubbles and the crumb that you're looking for in your bread. So what you need to do is feed it consistently for two or three days before you actually make your bread. And that means, you know, after adding four more ounces of water and flour, what you do is you can actually discard half of it so you don't have to keep adding so much flour and water. Because if every time you had to feed your starter, you added four ounce flour, four ounce water, four ounce flour, four ounce water, eventually you're gonna have like a gigantic bowl of starter that uh, maybe we could throw it over the head of these motorcycle riders because it's really loud. See how well their motorcycle will ride in a giant bowl of fermenting yeast sourdough. And that's the main problem people have when they're making sourdough bread. That's the reason that it doesn't look like it's supposed to, it doesn't taste as good because the starter they used was not active and healthy as it should be. So after those three days of feeding it, you can then do your sourdough recipe. And then moving forward, you wanna feed it roughly every two days and you should be good. So this is really something that you have to be on top of. You have to do it consistently. You know, if you take a break from making sourdough bread for a week or two, then it's gonna take you another two or three days of preparing the starter before you're ready to bake the bread again, unless you've been feeding the starter consistently. You know, if you're doing it every two days on point, then you can kind of make bread whenever you want. So just keep that in mind. This isn't something that you, know, you just take and throw in the bread and you can make it. Sourdough is like a routine thing. It's pretty involved. That's why, you know, like lately, past few weeks, I haven't been making it. It's because a lot of work's involved and you really have to be on top of this type of stuff. So if you guys do want this, you can go to frankiesrangefoods.com. We've done videos on yogurt in the past. We've done videos on, did I just blow a fuse? What happened? We've made videos on the other fermentation stuff too. Water kefir, yogurt. I think we've even made dairy kefir. So whatever sort of 
fermentable thing you're making. Different rules apply, like water kefir can be really finicky with the temperature and all that type of stuff. So be sure to check out my videos and other videos online if you wanna learn more about that. We did do the sourdough bread video, the full recipe uh, a few months ago, and we also made focaccia. But uh, hey, that's really what you have to do now with the food quality everywhere. You know, it's time consuming, but you really have to make stuff yourself. Because even if you find a bakery that's making like organic bread, they're probably just using the regular water from the tap. And you know, if you're investing all this time and money into having a high quality organic diet, and then the only thing that's not high quality organic with filtered water is the bread you're eating, you know, you might as well go that extra step and do it. Um, so as I've said several times, guys, Starter is available on frankiesrangefoods.com or if you want to make your own, uh, we told you how. You can also check out all of my other businesses on frank stefanocom if you'd like to support me. But guys, as always, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And if you guys are bored, uh, we have posted, I have, some of you guys are giving me shit for saying we when I'm filming a video. Yeah, if I was in here by myself relaxing, drinking some beer, it would be I. If I'm here with the camera with you guys, it's we. You get it? It's we. I'm here with the camera recording this. It's we. It's, you guys are just trying to bust my balls. It just Anyway, if you are bored, we have some unique videos on TikTok. So about half of them are completely new stuff that hasn't been on YouTube and the other half are like reiterations of the YouTube videos with some other things thrown in here and there. So uh, definitely some more content on TikTok that you guys can check out. But thanks again for joining. I'll see you guys soon.